Gaming Vault presents 17 games where you can play as a zombie. In most video games, we are shooting zombies, but there are some that let us become the shambling masses. It's a different kind of game that lets us sink our virtual teeth into some brain, taking a break from ruthlessly shooting walking corpses. Here are 17 video games that let you play as zombies. Left 4 Dead series. The series is set in a modern day survival horror universe, as it pits four survivors in an epic struggle against hordes of swarming zombies and terrifying boss infected mutants. However, you can also take on the role of the infected and wreak havoc on your enemies. It's perhaps the best game that will give you the ultimate thrill of being a zombie. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 The Revolution DLC of Call of Duty Black Ops 2 lets you play as a zombie. The DLC added a brand new mode called Turned, which allowed a lone player to face off against other player-controlled zombies. Once you kill the human, the zombie player will respawn as a lone human themselves. Dying Light be a zombie mode. Becoming one of the terrifying creatures of the night in Dying Light is a fun and frantic experience. The monsters that stalk you in the main game when the sun goes down are hulking beasts that can easily leap up buildings and tear a man to shreds. Stepping into the twisted feet of these monsters is a great way to switch things up, especially after hours of jumping from roof to roof trying to avoid the abominations. Stubbs the Zombie Stubbs may be well dressed, but he is no gentleman. He shambles through the city in his suit and tie, tearing innocent civilians to shreds and feasting on their flesh. The game isn't too difficult or diverse, but the novelty of playing as a zombie doesn't wear off too quickly. Ben and Ed Ben and Ed is a slightly different kind of zombie game. Instead of trying to eat people, you engage in a series of obstacle courses and bizarre challenges. Not only is this pair of undead athletes incredibly durable, but they also can still function with a couple of missing limbs leaping over spinning blades and other terrifying death traps. Resident Evil 6 Agent Hunt Mode Agent Hunt Mode in Resident Evil 6 essentially lets you invade the campaigns of other players, but taking control of various creatures and making life much more difficult for them. You often need to take control of fairly weak zombies, but swarming a player and successfully downing them is incredibly satisfying. 3 Dead Zed Zed isn't your typical zombie. He can transform into three different undead forms, each with their own personality and abilities. The smallest zombie is good for traversing and simple platforming. The animal-like creature has a very high jump, and the Hulk-like being is great for smashing anything in her path. It's a different kind of zombie, but an undead monstrosity nonetheless. Zombie Night Terror In Zombie Night Terror, you control hordes of the undead as they try to bring down the last remaining humans on Earth. This can be done through exploding zombies and sneaking up on unsuspecting humans who cannot react fast enough to pull out their shotgun. It's more of a strategy game than anything, but the 2D perspective makes things a little bit more difficult. Medieval Sir Daniel Fortescue may not be a zombie per se, but he certainly is dead. The noble skeleton knight has quite a few tricks up his sleeves, including ripping off his own arm and bashing enemy skulls in with it. He's a different kind of zombie, one with a few more brain cells left, at least enough to save the world from utter annihilation. Contagion Contagion is a fairly standard zombie shooter. The thing that sets it apart is that players can hop into the shoes of the zombies and make things more difficult for those with guns. The only downside is that there are only two types of zombies, standard and riot, meaning there isn't too much variety when you would rather be an undead nuisance than a gun-toting warrior. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare series. Garden Warfare takes the basic premise of Plants vs. Zombies and turns it into an addictive team-based shooter. The zombies are much more powerful than they are in the tower defense game, wielding weapons of destruction that can squash a plant in an instant. They are a wacky group of characters that are a joy to control. Killing Floor 2 – Be the Zed Mode Another mode in an FPS that lets you take control of an array of terrifying undead monsters Killing Floor 2's Be the Zed mode offers a unique set of creatures. None of them are your typical zombie. Instead, each one has their own strengths and weaknesses that give them an edge in combat and makes things more interesting in each match. Zombie Frank, Frank Rising DLC of Dead Rising 4. This DLC turns the journalistic protagonist of Dead Rising 4 into a zombie who can tear through the undead hordes and sink his teeth into anyone who doesn't see things his way. It's less about crafting crazy weapons than simply tearing your way through anything that moves, which is always fun. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Multiplayer 
Call of Duty Advanced Warfare changed up a couple of things for the series, one of them being the option to play as a zombie. It's purely cosmetic and quite difficult to unlock, but it's a cool addition that trips up people as they go to line up a headshot. There are no perks to appearing like this in battle, you simply get to shake things up a bit. Red Dead Redemption – Undead Nightmare When the Old West is plummeted into a zombie apocalypse, the denizens of the area don't know what to do. John Marston whips up his trusty rifle and begins picking off his neighbors who have risen from their graves. But if he himself gets bitten, he turns into a zombie, making it much easier to wade through the hordes of zombies. Plight of the Zombie Humans aren't the only ones who have it rough when the zombie apocalypse strikes. Zombies need to find brains to eat, deftly avoiding the shotgun-toting humans that threaten to gun them down. In Plight of the Zombie, you must sneak around humans to collect brains and stay alive which is as fun and absurd as it sounds. Suddenly, the zombies are the good guys. I Zombie, Another game where the humans are the real threat. I Zombie puts the player in the shoes of a defenseless zombie as they attempt to avoid rows of humans who only want to put bullets into skulls. It's a simple game with a simple premise that quickly turns difficult as players try to survive the angry throngs of humans. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Vault, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.